Hello everyone and welcome to our pumpkin decorating tutorial. Since we are having a pumpkin decorating contest, we thought it would be fun to show you guys what we are going to do with our pumpkins. So um, I am up first and I decided to paint my pumpkin. Um, I am just giving it a rough white coat of paint as you can see here. Making sure to get all of the orange off, just covering it with white paint. And then here in a second, you'll see me, um, I'll leave and let this dry, and then you'll see me come back with another coat of white paint just to make sure I'm getting good coverage so you can't see any of the orange poking through. So I let that dry and I came back and I decided to paint some cacti on my pumpkin. So um, as you can see, I made a little circle and then um, I started making two circles. I kind of just made different shapes um, that I thought looked cactus-y, <laughs> if that's a word. Um, I just used green paint for this. And um, you'll see me here in a second. I actually took my white paint and I made different shades of green just to give um, it some variety. I love um, different colored cacti and I thought it would be fun to paint it on a pumpkin. <laughs> I've seen a few tutorials where people have done that and I thought it was really cute. So um, basically you can just paint circles or different shapes, whatever shapes you want that you think look like a cactus. So I'm going to just paint some random shapes, some circles, and stuff like that with my different shades of green. that coat is dry I am going to add some details to my cactuses so I took some more white paint and a very small brush and I just brushed on some little um, spikes like little prickly you know spikes that you would find on a cactus um, so I just painted those on every one because I thought it looked really cute and as you can see it's not perfect <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect um, I'm not good at painting, I'm not an artist, but I enjoy it, so um, I still do it. And then I took some red paint and um, I made some flowers because some cactuses bloom and they have little flowers. So um, I made, actually I made pink with red and white and then um, here in a second you'll see that I actually take the red paint and make little different varying shades of pink and I think it looks really cute. And there is my finished product. Okay, next is Danielle's pumpkin. So we actually got a big pumpkin from th for this from the store. Um, we are going to carve this one and we are also going to use it for a science experiment. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we will post that as well later on. Um, so I just want to say when it comes to carving, carving can be difficult. And um, we actually got this kit. I believe it's from Walmart. Um, you should always have a parent or a guardian. Um, carve for you. It's It can be kind of dangerous if you're using sharp objects like knives. Um, we used this carving kit and then we actually broke out um, 
a steak knife as well because it wasn't working very well. So please, please be careful if you decide to carve and always have a parent or a guardian help you because it can be difficult. So as you can see, we cut the top off and now we are scooping out the insides, the guts, I like to say, of the pumpkin. And once your pumpkin is fully gutted, you um, we actually just got this from Walmart as well. It was included in our kit. Um, it's just a little stencil with a little jack-o'-lantern face. And Danielle just outlined it with a marker that was included. And um, once she has it all outlined, she is going to start carving it. Okay, it looks like Danielle is done carving and you can see some of the guts inside <laughs> that we didn't get. So she is just going through and she is kind of carving those out and she's going to take her scoop here in a minute and she's going to scoop out some more of the insides. You might have to do that um, a few times to get it the way you want it. You don't want it looking all nasty. <laughs> and. Um, she is going to carve out a little bit more and um, she's also going to wipe off the pumpkin because you can get the guts all over it and it makes it look kind of gross. So she is going to wipe off the face and just make it very clean. 
And that is her pumpkin. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And remember, if you are participating in our pumpkin decorating contest, um, your picture needs to be emailed to me by October 23rd with um, the name, age, and phone number. Um, so this is open to children and adults. All ages are welcome to participate. Um, so make sure you get that email to me, elizabeth at carrollcountylibrary.org before October 23rd. Um, you have a chance to win a prize. So um, we are going to have the public vote on Facebook for their favorite pumpkin for each age group. We'll find out who the winner is by the most likes on that post. So um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to call or email us. And we hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Bye-bye.